Hi friends, welcome back to today's video. Uh, we're back at the training field and we want to show you today uh, how we teach different styles of the U-turn for the IGP or for every other sport. Um, like we mentioned before, there's not one method that works for every dog. And so we train different ways for different dogs because every dog is different and every dog offers us a different behavior. So there are dogs that turn with us in a U-turn that looks like this, you walk, you walk, you walk, then you turn like this and the dog is turning with you and you walk straight again. There's another method where you walk and the dog walks behind your back that will look like this, you walk, you walk, then you turn and the, your dog walks behind your back and you walk straight again. And um, on the trial, it doesn't matter how you do it. You can make it uh, where the dog turns with you or where the dog walks behind your back. But you have to decide in each trial how you want to do it. Either you do it this way or the other way. Okay, I think we start with the first dog and we're going to show you the first method where the dog turns with us. So here we have uh, yeah. Roland's second dog, yeah. um, six years old, Sweet White yeah. Shepherd also. And we want to show you the second version where the dog turns with the handler in the U-turn. And as you can see, the dog's a little bit hyped up for the ball, the drive is too high. So we might change from a ball to a lower reward that's uh, a piece of food. And Roland's going to show us how the dog's going from this position to the heel position in uh, the other version. So at first he's doing a little bit feeding the dog to calm the dog down. Then he's luring with a hand in the heel position. He's walking back into the front position. He's luring the dog in the heel position. The dog takes the perfect position while following the lure with the food. One more time. Dog does a perfect job. And he's walking, walking. Then he's doing the U-turn where the dog's turning with him. The other way around. So as you can see, when he's luring with the food, it, the dog does a perfect job with the U-turn. So how do we build up this exercise where the dog's turning with the handler? Um, here we have, again, a piece of food and we have those white sticks where the dog has to turn around. So he's Ronald's walking with his dog right next to the stick and you see the dog has to turn his back around the stick to make a perfect U-turn. You can see the dog's doing a perfect job and as you can see Roland's not moving his elbow so he's just helping the dog a little bit with uh, turning on his food hand. The dog does a perfect job in turning back into ground position. Dog did a great job. So that's, like mentioned before, one version. And there are mother, many other versions you can train that exercise. So right now we want to show you how the exercise will look in the end without luring, without the ball and without the food. Food. Roland gives the command, he's walking, does a U-turn and the dog, as you can see, the dog needs, still needs a little bit of training in that exercise, but ah, that was a perfect U-turn, but uh, we're still in training, so yes, dog did a good job, gets his reward and can go back to his box. Thank you, Roland. So here we see uh, Roland has his dog um, right in front of him. And he's going to show you how the dog is going from Forward. this position to the heel position. So you, you see, he takes the ball and uh, lures the dog around his back in the position. Perfect. Now he's walking straight forward, switching the hands with the ball. Dog goes around the back. Perfect. And the other way around, switch the hand with the ball, goes 
perfect. Back in its position. You see, it switches the hand with the ball. The dog follows the ball. Perfect. So we have a second version you can do. Uh, you can do it with a ball or with food, with a little piece of food. Uh, it works the same way. Bulan is luring the dog with its hand and the food, yeah, food. around his back. Perfect. Now it's walking straight forward. Switches the food in the hand. Dog goes around the back. Back into position. The other way around. And as you see, the dog follows the food and the hand and does a perfect U-turn around the back. So right now I'm going to show you another version how I teach my dogs to make the U-turn. Um, for this purpose we have a uh, marker board from Martin System. Um, it looks like this. I have uh, covered it a little bit, um, but if the dog is going on the marker board, it makes a noise. So this marker board has several um, purposes, but I use it in this example for the U-turn. Uh, I'm going to show you now how I do it with the dog, and later I will explain you how I've built it up. Puss. So I start, puss, walk straight to the marker board, puss, and I make a turn on the marker board. Puss. And when the dog turns his back with the front paws on the marker board, I mark it with a clicker and I tell my dog, Good job, this is what I wanted from you. I'll show you again. Puss. Puss. As you see, the dog is turning his back very nice on the marker board. And this is how I want the dog to make the U-turn later in the exercise. Now I'm gonna show you how I built that up going to start in the heel, push, sorry, I switched the command, uh, in, the, in the position, in the heel position, I start, and then I teach the dog to turn with his front paws on the marker board. How I do this, I'm going to show you now. Just take one step on the left, push, and you see the dog, dog's turning his back with his front paws on the marker board. Push, push. And then later, when the dog understands what I want from him, just turn and turn and turn, and then I walk. Puss. So the dog's turning on the marker board. Puss. And then I walk. Walk straight, I mark it, and this is how I build up my exercise in the U-turn with the marker board. And as said before, there are many ways to teach a dog, and every dog is different, and uh, that's why uh, we have different versions to teach our dogs. Some dogs are better with food, some dogs better with a ball, and some dogs are better with no lure from food or a ball. This is, as you see, I have no lure in my hands. I only have the exercise and I mark when I like the behavior. So you may be wondering why we don't use a leash, um, because in the beginning, everything should be done with a leash. Um, there's there's an easy reason for that. Um, as you saw with Roland, he had the food and the ball in his hand and uh, he's luring the dog around him or into the position and if you have a leash and you have like food and you have a ball that you want to uh, twist in your hands that doesn't work out with the leash and that's the reason why we start that off without a leash. Later you can add a leash because in the trial in the BH for example you need to walk on a leash but we will do that later when the dog knows how to do the exercise. Another question uh, that's often asked is um, how we do um, our steps for 
each version. So now we have Roland. He's going to show us um, how he do his, how he does his steps for the version where the dog goes around the back. Let's take a closer look at his feet. He's walking, walking. Then he takes a side step where he twists the ball in the hand and he walks straight again. This is how the steps look like on the other version of the U-turn where the dog goes around the back. Thank you, Roland. I can show you how I do it. Uh, for example, when I do the U-turn where the dog follows me and doesn't go around the back, I walk slow in the beginning, then I step like this, do one step on the back and go straight again. One more time. I twist my foot, make one side step, then I go straight again. Um, this is how I do my U-turns and uh, as always, if you like the video, um, if you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And we will do some deeper videos on each exercise, for example, the heel position, the front position, um, and if you don't want to miss the upcoming videos, subscribe to my channel and we'll see you on the next time. Bye bye.